What up my freaks, Ruinous Insight here with part 37 of my Battletech Heavy Metal Iron Man career mode let's play. So as we saw last time, we have just one contract remaining here in Kimmy. The good thing about Kimmy was the store. We bought ourselves a bunch of nice stuff, including a Gauss rifle. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I was actually planning to put it on the Marauder, but after taking a quick look at the available tonnage on the Marauder, I decided not to. The reason for that being, we would have had to drop armor or, well, probably armor and something else. Probably we wouldn't be able to fit two large lasers on it if we had fit the, uh, the Gauss rifle just because of the extra tonnage. Instead, what I did was drop its medium laser and its uh, couple small lasers and replaced the AC-5 with the AC-10 that does 65 damage. So that should be just as good as the Gauss against uh, non-braced units at getting a one-hit kills in if uh, the chance works out for us, if RNGesus smiles upon our poor, poor souls. So yeah, kept a double large laser for hits just in case so that we can keep on hitting if the uh, AC-10 misses and that worked out. In addition to that, I modified the Warhammer with even heavier... Uh, upgraded medium and large lasers with the uh, plus plus variants and the banshee i still don't know what to do the, with the banshee 3e because again banshee has garbage garbage tonnage fortunately the other banshee we got was the 3m which is essentially grasshopper 2.0 it has six support tonnage, which I of course loaded up with tons and tons of machine guns, as I like to do, as I prefer them over the uh, small lasers, and then put a bunch of uh, large lasers in those slots, and then I just massively upgraded its melee capabilities with a melee gyro, a bunch of arm mods, this thing is going to be an absolute monster in melee. And it's going to really outdo this one, I think, just because the smaller amount of support weapons and the smaller amount of hard points for the medium lasers, just in case, really, really don't know what to do with you. If the 3E had a couple of missile spots or missile hard points instead of this absolutely useless ballistic hard point, that would be great. But I have absolutely no clue why this thing has a ballistic hard point. It has, what, 15 free tons? It's insanity. It's insanity. Anyway, we have one mission remaining, and we're going to just jump right into it. Let's do it. And then after that, we will be heading off to our next mission, depending on how long this takes. And by next mission, I do mean our next flashpoint. So let's take the bait. I guess we... I mean, it's a three and a half scale. We can go for some money here, but you never know. Let's go, salvage. And this time, we are bringing the same crew. The buckshot and provocator remain hurt. But let's see. Can't use any of our stuff, and we did lose a few things, so Grasshopper, you. Uh, let's have you be piloted by... I guess we could have Dragon pilot you. Hmm. Oh, wow. Actually, this is gonna be a first. We won't have the Marauder. It's unfortunate. Oh, well, Martyr, you're going in the Archer. Uh, right. You know what? No, Martyr, you can go in the Orion, and then we'll have Snowbound pilot the Archer, because he does have the Breaching Shot and the multi-target ability. Maybe we'll switch the Black Knight to Martyr. Hmm. And honestly, you have sure footing, so maybe we'll give you the Grasshopper, we'll give you the Orion, maybe I, instead of tanking with the Orion, we'll keep it a little bit back. Yeah, something like that. Something like that, because you don't have Bulwark, do you? No, you don't. You just have sure footing. Hmm. And I don't think I'd want to sensor lock with the... Although, maybe it would be better to sensor lock with the grasshopper than anything else. You know, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's see what... If that works out for us. I think we'll be just fine. Either way, even if we get hurt, we're traveling to the next flashpoint right after this, so it shouldn't be a big deal. We don't have to play it safe, we can just screw around. And then I can't wait to try out the new Banshee, but unfortunately the next flashpoint does have us uh, limited to light tonnage. It will be fun, granted. But we won't be able to punch anything to death. I would like to see some one-hit kills on mediums. That'd be fun. I think the Banshee can do 300 damage, something like that, in melee with the mods and six machine guns firing at the same time. Which is pretty damn disgusting. Honestly, if it punches an assault in the back, it would kill it just as well, especially since the machine guns, as I like to do with the grasshopper, do explode all the ammo in there. Alright, let's see what we got here. See what we're dealing with. Alright, ooh, we got this little rock that we can hide behind. That seems useful, although they do have the high ground and it seems some cover. Black Knight in 
Uh, you can go around a little bit, Grasshopper. We don't want you to get hurt. Everybody else coming on up. There we go. I like how we started in this little copse of trees. Alright, I guess we're not going through this way. Maybe we'll send the Grasshopper around this way and then send everybody else through here. Damn, I would like to reclaim the high ground from them, though. Oh, well. Alright, Martyr, we have to remember that you do have jump jets. So you're probably going to identify the enemy from here. But you'll be okay, I think. What do we got? We have a Black Knight on Black Knight. Oh, but you don't have full armor. Oh, buddy. Yeah, poor, poor Black Knight. Uh, Grasshopper, you... Hmm. You know, let's get you into cover. Oh, you won't be able to run through here, I feel. Hmm, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I think you'll be okay. You'll have enough ability to sprint away. Everybody else, start getting near there. Uh, Orion, stay behind the rock and in cover. You know what, let's just keep everybody in cover. Archer, you. Moving on up right over here. You can fire next turn. Because you have your LRMs. Let's see who's gonna come up first. Oh, they're over here. Okay, we gotta be careful there. Oh, the reinforcements are here already. They wanna play. Okay, you. You know what we'll actually do? We're gonna take you. We're gonna move you into cover. And you are going to sensor lock the Black Knight. That'll prevent it from doing damage with its double large lasers and PPC. That's a pretty interesting build, actually. Huh, that thing must run insanely hot. Considering our own Black Knight only has two large lasers and a bunch of M lasers without the without the PPC, I do really love the Black Knight build with the uh, single uh, the single snub PPC that I use in the other campaign. But there is unfortunately no snub PPC available here. All right, all right, come on. Okay, please let the Black Knight do something. <laughs> ah, its evasion's getting stripped. Alright, finally. Martyr, you are going to go and jump like this, although... Hmm, wait, if you go here, I feel like you'll be more open. But then again, the faster we destroy this guy, the better. Let's go here. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Large lasers and stuff. Let's fire. You are running fairly hot. So yeah, if this is how hot we're running, how hot must you be running? Ah, alright. Go. No lucky headshots, unfortunately. Got a couple of torso hits and arm hits there, and I've... Eh, yeah, this thing's gonna drop. Oh, there's the PPC, and it did hit, unfortunately. Couple misses with the medium lasers, and immediate head hit. Immediate head hit, of course. <laughs> Not that we care because we're gonna travel, but damn. And the Black Knight, I believe, has the... Uh, cockpit mod, or is that the Marauder? No, I think that's a Marauder, damn. I got too used to piloting Martyr in the front with the Marauder. Oh well. You, you're gonna run up, stay out of cover. Copy that. But you can do a lot of damage here. Uh, this is gonna mess, but that's okay. You run relatively cool. Cool enough that it's not a huge concern. Just don't... Wow, like, all those missiles sailed by. That did not look like 50% at all. Ah, uh, well. You, if you go here, can you fire your medium lasers as well? You can, but they're at 55. Is there a better place to shoot your... Hmm, 70% from here. What about from here? Still 70? Alright, uh, just move up a little bit. On the move. Right there. Fire. Cluster in the chest, please. In the CT, rather. Mm, a little bit. The Grasshopper's not gonna be able to get close enough to actually attack. Orion, you're gonna take some damage, unfortunately, for us. I guess the AI is smart enough not to target somebody that's not in the cover. Fine, fine. Uh, you. You can fire at this guy from here. Take some damage for your trouble, but then they won't be able to see us anymore if you kill him. You know what, I think that's worth the risk. Roger. Go right there, Grasshopper. Or Dragon. And Precision Strike or so. 82%, pretty decent. You, I, be, I believe he's dead. Yes. Alright, so no more spotting, no more missiles. Wow, that's it? That was the first part of their, uh, <laughs> their army? Okay. Or their lands. No, I guess it was their army, because it's d double ants. An assassin? Damn. I forgot how few mechs they had in 3.5. Okay, but it is annoying that he's spotting us now. I didn't think that would be happening. Oh, yeah, I didn't pay attention to the damn missing green pips here. Sorry, Martyr. I'm showing my you just recover bet before our next mission. Alright, you, oh, yeah. Archer. Go fire from here. I believe you can't fire your medium lasers. 55 damage? Damn you, assassin. You. Damn you. 
Hmm, if we move here, we can be able to fire our AC5, but it's not a great shot. We could just sprint up. You know what? Confirm. It's not like we care about damage here. And they're m mostly pretty weak mechs, so we can always punch them if we feel like it. Minus you, Snowbound. You can just stay back. Uh, Black Knight. Now both of you are on forward. Let's have you actually jump up here. Get a little bit of evasion. And just fire your two large lasers. We might get lucky. We did indeed get lucky. Wow, two shots in the torso. 10 HP left. Very, very nice. Huh, lucked into that one. And what you. You know what? You might be able to kill it if you get some lucky shots in. Let's find out. And where's the clustering? Nowhere near the CT, looks like. <laughs> That's funny. The first one, complete luck. The second one, zero luck. Not one missile hit the CT there. I guess uh, that's how the cookie Thank crumbles, you. and let's see, you, Grasshopper. You. I think since they're not that threatening, it's time for you to sprint up. Sure, they're gonna shoot you, but they're not gonna do enough damage, and we don't even care if they do. Ooh, is that a crab? Cute. Cute. <laughs> I feel like I say that every single time I see one of them. Because it looks like the pre-evolved state of the uh, King Crab. And I still, I, I just want my King Crab, I don't even care. I don't care about anything else in either campaign. Just, just give me game. Come on. I should have bought it. Oh well. Uh, let's see, assassin. You're gonna come up. Do actually, these guys usually carry a fair amount of weaponry. Yeah, pretty damn decent for such a tiny little thing. All right, martyr. You're you're angry about things. I take it. Go right up here. Can you kill this guy? No. You know what? I think you can kill this guy. They have two assassins. Oh, you know what we'll do? We'll go one, two, three, four. And we'll go one, two. Like so. And we will cool ourselves. Oh, did that unselect everything? Damn it. <laughs> Fine. One, two. There we go. I imagine we're not going to luck out like this, but you never know. Alright. Lots of damage spread there, so that's useless. Let's see what the large lasers do. Just need one torso hit. Yes, we... Oh, they both hit the torso again. What the hell? <laughs> Weird. What are the odds of four hits in the same location? Okay. And those were lucky hits. We weren't aiming there, and it's not like the large lasers cluster either. You. We could have you move up here and probably kill this assassin. Disable this. Uh, although, you. You could probably do the same thing. What about you? Can, if you? Can you move close enough to shoot your medium lasers? No. I guess you can just destroy the assassin. Go right there. Hopefully that'll kill it. Ouch. Not dead, but threat is pretty much neutralized. Not that it was a major threat in the first place, but whatever. Uh, you, right up here. What do we got here? We got a Treb with low armor, but a fair amount of weaponry, and a King Crab, or a regular Crab, unfortunately, with a bunch of large, with a, a couple large lasers. But let's go for the Treb, it's more threatening. And it has probably lower armor, I would imagine. Or about the same, maybe? I don't know. See what your armor is like. Nah, it's actually more. Never mind. Alrighty, you. You've been waiting. You've been waiting patiently. Go right up here. And precision strike. Set CT. Fire everything. Have fun with that. Tango is trash. Oh, you're gonna punch somebody? Cute. Cute. Pointless, but adorable. Kind of describes the regular crab to a T. Pointless but adorable. Nah, nah, we just didn't get one in the very, very early game. Two large lasers would have been very helpful at a time. Just not no more. Okay, you. You're right here. I mean, we're clearly not looking for salvage here. Uh, attack this guy. Don't fire the large lasers. Do this. Wait, no. Do that. There you go. Of course you missed the large laser. <laughs> Wow, that did not do a lot of damage despite being a rear shot. Yeah, Disappointment. You. 
Try the exact same thing, but do it better. Uh, wait, your chance to hit is fairly low. What about from here? A little bit better. Oh, but that actually hits him from the side, not from the... Not from the rear angle. We could go for the assassin, I just don't really give a damn about killing it. Man, that's disappointing. Fine, whatever, just go from here then. Coordinates received. Hmm. Come on, guys. Try a little harder, just a little. Okay, Snowbound, you, move forward. Uh, let's go with... You know what? Fire everything at the crab. We could pop... Nah. Waste of time. Waste of time. Go... Ooh, what if we try to tr precision strike you? It almost never works with the with the archer, but... Oh, it does seem to be clustering in the CT. And it's done. Good. Good. Okay, that worked out. Alright, just you left. You're gonna punch somebody and then you're gonna die. Yeah, yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that little fella. Oh, you Oh, he kicked him. That's so cute. <laughs> and he doesn't have an arm. Uh, nice little pose on top of this rock, though. Grasshopper, you ready to do the honors? Show him how a... Show him how a real mech punches. Don't miss. That might be look like an idiot. Oh, first hit CT destroyed. Nice. And unnecessary ammo explosions, here they come. No, oh, no ammo explosions. Did you have ammo? I think you did. You should have had some missiles on you. Alright, well that was obviously way, way, way too easy. I probably should have gone for the money to recover some of it. But we're fine. I think I forgot to do that. I think I said last time that I wouldn't be taking anything below uh, 3.5 in terms of salvage. You just take uh, money for it, but too late. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Do we have anything? Actually, we don't. No ooh. Pr premature ooh. Yeah, this stuff is not good enough. Well, the small laser with a 50% crit is okay, but it's not the good kind of small laser. I think we'll just take mech parts for salvage. One black knight piece, crab piece, and trebuchet piece. There you go. We got a PPC anyway. Alright, so that salvage was terrible. Terrible-ish. But... Come on now. Oh, let's get to the next place. Yes, yes, our mech warriors are getting experience. Now, we could alter the... We could alter the Black Knight before heading out. Ah, oh, but we don't have the damn PPC. Uh, the snub. We could give it a regular PPC, I just don't feel like it's worth it. Uh, its heat efficiency is fairly low, but it doesn't have a heat exchanger, that's the thing. We could, if we could drop four tons, that seems like a lot of tons. And yeah, you have a small laser in your face. Kind of a problem. But I think that's because I didn't have an extra cockpit mod to spare, and I still don't. Damn. Do we bother changing you up? I think you're actually okay. For now. I feel like it's not worth it to drop the, uh, drop the four tons in the, for one exchanger. Not at 120. Or 100, rather. Maybe if it was 120, it'll be a little bit better. In terms of uh, needing to put the exchanger in there. But four heat sink heat sink loss, uh... Hmm. I'm still contemplating it, though. We'll be down to basically sinking no heat. Or very little, anyway, if we drop that much. We could drop a couple of the jump jets as well, but... Honestly, the Black Knight's pretty decent. And I have very few mechs with jump jets. You know what? Just stay as you are. Stay as you are. I'm sure we'll run into another supremely hot running mech. In the meantime, let us quickly go to the mech warriors... Give him XP and then get to travel in the U. Snowbound, you got you got plenty, so gunnery max it up. You're almost ten all over. Nice. Uh you. No, not you, provocator. You got nothing. Martyr. Eh, at least your piloting's there. Justice Wit. Oh right, we gotta max out piloting, don't we? Although minimum range on this might be useful. Although your gunnery is also trash. Let's put the gunnery up. Can't have you missing. 
Uh, Gearhead is fine, Echidna is fine. Uh, Dragon. I guess we're gonna go for... You never indirect fire. But then again, the 3 health doesn't give us that much either. Hmm. You know what, since you never indirect fire, let's go for health. We might actually get some use out of that. Training confirmed, Commander. Buckshot is good. Oh, wait, wait, let's... No, no, we're trying to save up for the next level of piloting with you. Alright, we're good there. Navigation star map, let's go. What do we got? We are going to... Right here. This is on our way to the Flashpoint campaign, which is over here, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Right here, this steel... Well, no, 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 no. Wait, yes, the Steel Beast, is that what we're going after? Yes, it is. Okay, the Steel Beast, rare mech, light tonnage requirements, Slayer's Gladiator has murdered my nephew Arjun. With your help, I will see his killer brought to justice, Commander. Make him suffer, and I'll make you rich. Okie doke. Roger that, Commander. Uh, let's get to it. What's the travel? Oh, we're actually, it's actually very short. Nice. Nice. And we're almost there already. Can't wait to see what this has in store for us. Ah, the Banshee's gonna be ready, not for this, but for the uh, Flashpoint campaign, and here we are. No random events, alas, but that's okay. Uh, Steel Beast, let us begin it immediately, shall we? Oh, Martyr's still out of action for how long? Two days. Do we wait two days for Martyr to get in on this? Ah, we can do it with not, without Martyr. It's fine. Let's begin. The Steel Beast, High Orbit Hero Titus. Commander, I'm pleased to see that you've accepted my request. The matter that I have for you is one of personal nature. My nephew Aryan has been murdered, killed in the cockpit by a grandstanding fool in front of a cheering audience. I want his head, and I want you to deliver it to me. I'm sorry for your loss, Graf Stieglitz Bradford, and I think I can speak for everyone on the team when I say that we'd be honored to help. Who exactly are we going to be dealing with? A Solaris 8, or Solaris 7 rather, gladiator. He's a mountain of a man, a sadist who revels in misery and thrives on the jeers of the crowd. His name is Bogdan Tubbs, but he calls himself the Steel Beast. Under the guise of friendship, Tubbs challenged my nephew to a harmless exhibition match. When Aryan stepped into the arena, Gladiator turned what should have been a friendly duel into a bloody execution. In the end, he crushed Aryan's cockpit with his Battlemex armored claw. Did somebody pay him to do it? What was his motivation? Fame, the roar of the crowd, who can guess? In truth, M Ms. Murad, I couldn't care less what drove the gladiator to kill dear Aryan. I care only that the justice of House Stieglitz Bradford and House Steiner is visited upon this steel beast, and that Bogdan Tubbs pays for Aryan's death with his own life. I wouldn't call this the justice of House Steiner if we're delivering it, and especially if you're delivering it without a single atlas. If you can cure the, if you can lure this gladiator, cure him, cure him of life. Uh, if you can lure this gladiator out to the rimward periphery, we'll take care of him for you. Alas, I cannot, but you can. One of Steel Beast's biggest sponsors, Ironwood Productions, has a hollow vid distribution facility right here on Hero Titus, and it just so happens that Ironwood Productions is hosting a major fan event for Tubbs' most ardent supporters. I want you to make a mockery of the Steel Beast's retinue, smash them to pieces, stomp them flat, send them running back to whatever caves they crawled out of, and I want you to record yourselves doing it. Okay, I'm with you so far, keep going. After you've destroyed the Steel Beast's supporters, I want you to proceed to Ironwood Production's hollow recording facility and capture it. You will then use the equipment inside to broadcast the challenge to Solaris 7 and beyond. The Steel Beast will be powerless to resist such a challenge. He will come to you, and you will kill him for what he did to my nephew. You really think that this idiot will be that easy to ambush? I mean, it'll be pretty obvious to trap. If you call him out loudly enough, he won't have a choice. Solaris gladiators live and die by their reputations. If the Steel Beast ignores your challenge or refuses to fight you, his popularity in the arena will suffer for it. In that case, we're on it. You have my thanks. Return to me when your challenge has been recorded and will lure Arjun's killers to us. I'm surprised that you couldn't use the uh, Solaris gladiator uh, origin in anything there. Weird. Alrighty, ooh, we have a bunch of government stuff. Stuff. I wonder who it's for. I do wonder. But I, we're going to do the Steel Beast in one second. I just want to quickly check the Hiring Hall in the store before we get into it. Let's see, Hiring Hall, garbage. I like some of these names, though. Homunculus, Judge, Dread, Tire, Fire. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad at all. 
Ah, uh, let's go to the store. Tire fire, okay. Uh, let's see what we got. Ooh, we got Warhammer pieces. Or just one, rather. Some Infernos. Nothing all that fancy. Yeah. Alright, check a black market. Even though it's gonna be obnoxiously expensive, obviously. Oh, wow, there's an Annihilator piece in here? My. Okay. Wait, that's not a piece, that's a full mech. 124 mil. Yeah, okay, black market reputation. 1,000% increase. Uh, yeah, I probably could could have avoided doing that, but I feel like I'm not going to bother trying to uh, up the pilot rep in this campaign, since I'm trying to up it in the other one, and then we'll see how our, uh, how our lost tech stuff suffers from not having it. We will see. Obviously, the ability to purchase all this would have been grand. Oh, and a stalker. I'd love to have a stalker. Hmm. There's some good stuff in here. Stuff that we can't afford, so there's no point looking at it. Probably shouldn't have even bothered paying for the black market. But, uh, oh, it's too late now. Comple call it for completionist's sake. Let's go. Uh, if we're to draw the Steel Beast into a fight, we must first provoke him. The wholesale slaughter of his revolting followers seems like a reasonable first step. I'll point you in the right direction, you will bring the firepower, and we'll scour this world of Bogdan Tubbs' fan club. Then we'll move on to a more high-profile target. Alright. And, wow, that seems like a lot of salvage possibility here. Huh. But it's only three star. You know what, let's go two and two. Max pay is actually quite high. Hmm. We go 900. You know what? I think, yeah, let's go 2 and 2. I like it. I like it. Now, oh, what? We could bring everything? I thought this was supposed to be light tonnage drop. Eh? Oh, maybe it's next mission? I don't know. Maybe he challenges us to a match? Well, this isn't going to be a problem. Let's deal with this fairly quick. I think we can just bring this. Oh, no. Banshee, yes. You are coming along. Let's get justice in here. Dole out some justice with the brand new Banshee. I wish Provoc- oh, Provocator is ready? No, 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 no. Provocator likes the melee stuff. And we have the Grasshopper on top of it. Oh, this is gonna be disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then who will we bring for this Buckshot in the Black Knight, I guess? Yeah, I think we have plenty of tanks. The Black Knight can dole out damage from the back lines. Let's do it. Time for some overkill. Maybe this is Steiner Justice after all. <laughs> yeah, so I have never... I don't recall this. I feel like I would have done it before, but I don't recall this at all. Guess we're gonna find out. Maybe it'll look familiar on the actual battlefield. Uh, let's begin. Our surveillance drones have spotted a group of the Steel Beast's friends and followers near this location. Understand that these people aren't trained mercenaries. They're a motley crew of Solaris gladiators, pirates, and highwaymen. Most don't belong in the battlefield at all, let alone in a battle, battle mech's cockpit. It should be a trivial matter for you to smash them flat. Sounds like a plan, Groff Stieglitz Bradford. Sabat, I'll be recording this fight for broadcast, so try to put on a good show. Give them the business. Oliver out. Alrighty. Oh, uh, let's get to it, shall we? You, get into cover. Advancing. Hey, what do we got here? Oh, 65 tonner. Higher tonnage than I thought it would be. Considering it's only a 3 skull. Forward. Banshee. Damn, you can run far. Alright. I guess we could run you over here, or we could just... Ah, but everybody's gonna be lined up, whatever. I guess that is the Banshee's strong suit. The only strong suit that it has. <laughs> That it can run fa fairly far as an assault mech. Is that a vehicle? Are you kidding me, game? Yeah. Uh, Grasshopper. We could run you all the way up, or... In the alternate... You know what, wait. Let's uh, reserve everybody. For one turn, I'll let him move up. And then we'll identify an attack. Anybody? Anybody? Okay, I guess they don't feel like it. Fine. Receiving you. Identify. What are we looking with here? A Jaeger mech, isn't that cute? That thing's gonna die so fast. Oh, poor Jaeger mech. Not the kind of thing you should have brought. Uh, let's go snowbound. You. You begin this. 
Oh, and we got CT clustering as well. Not completely, but uh, quite enough for this thing to be very much threatened. And you went for guarded and entrenched. Black Knight, you're gonna have an obscured shot from everywhere. However, probably worth it to do it anyway. If we get a few lucky shots, this guy could be dead. Nope. Nope. Yes, yes. No, no. Damn. Not so lucky there. So they, you are going to get spotted. Somebody's going to fire on you. Another Jaeger mech. Okay, we're going to have to be careful with you. You're going to take damage if we keep you out here. I could have waited. I could have been patient. But I don't believe in that sort of thing. Uh, let's see. You move next, but the Grasshopper can finish this guy off. I'm kind of tempted to just rush you forward right here. Honestly, just go forward right here. I know you're going to take extra damage Roger from all this that. stuff, but I just want to see you punch somebody. You have the armor. Oh, wow, they have an 80 tonner as well. Nice. You have a couple of AC-20s. That's unfortunate. I'm glad both didn't hit. I guess we'll destroy you from a distance with the archer. Uh, since we're over tonnage, this is me not being careful at all. Not that I'm very right careful forward. often. Uh, you. Go right up here. Right there. I feel like we waste this precision strike to guarantee the kill. Let's do it. No, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Not left leg. DT. There you go. Kill it. On it. Down you go, buddy. And we'll recover some resolve from that. Who's up next? These guys are moving. That's okay. Oh, two of them are moving. Fine. Are they going to go for the Banshee? I think the Banshee will be fine. Uh, come on. Get ready to punch, buddy. Get ready to punch. A Phoenix Hawk? Okay. Not a big deal. Max armor on this thing. Let's get the archer killing that thing, shall we? Uh, Buckshot, moving up. No, 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 no. You, moving up. Kill that thing. Yes, I think we're going to fire everything on this thing. I don't want to risk missiles missing it, even though I'm pretty sure one set could kill it. Well, let's not do what I always do and mess that up. Oh, you still don't die. Well, that's irritating. We're going to get shot by more demolishers then, aren't we? Nope, PPCs. Okay. Looks like somebody else is going to have to finish that thing. Bad luck there. Uh, you, go right here into cover. Fire everything you got there. I'm there. Guarantee these AC-20s are the picture. Honestly, maybe this time we can split shot. It's very, very risky, but I feel like with two large lasers, the odds of neither, neither... Oh, but it's in cover. You know what? I mean, who do we fire at otherwise? You know what we'll do? We'll do this. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, one, two, three. And then we'll do two, three. Just to strip a little bit of evasion. Oh, you can't. we can't even hit you. Okay, so never mind. Do that. Guarantee the kill here. Please tell me you're dead. Okay, good. And then we'll strip evasion off this guy. There we go. Oh, that actually hit. Nice. Next up. Huh. This Banshee's arm is probably going to take a lot. Oh, wow. It's almost gone. Oh, uh, this thing has a lot of mods. That would be unfortunate. Man, I wanted to... Oh, we can't even reach you to punch you. That's unfortunate as well. Fine. Move your right arm in like so. Like so. I don't even care if the Phoenix Hawk gets a rear shot. It's not going to do that much. And right there. Fire everything. Got it. Right arm destroyed, of course we get ammo explosions, and you immediately die because of said ammo explosions. Beautiful. You gotta love those machine guns, man. Not quite a punch yet, though. Ooh, a locust. I want you to stomp that thing flat. Okay, you, Grasshopper, you have the same role as you do. We have a couple machine gun mechs, so you guys are gonna run forward a little tag team. It's, a, it's like a little father and son. They even look fairly similar in design. Huh, I wonder if the same factory designs the uh, Banshee and the Grasshopper. But would the same factory make such a great mech and then such a terrible mech right after? 
Is it just coincidence that they look so similar? I'm gonna find out right after this. Wiki, here I come. Oh, I didn't change up your uh, coloring, did I, Banshee? My bad. Alright, you're gonna try to get a... Not a rear... No, you're gonna front shot this guy. Okay, fine. Ah, can't get to... Can't wait to get to punching. Snowbound, who are you gonna... Who are you gonna shoot? Not Ghostbusters. Uh, you. I guess you could start shooting the Phoenix Hawk. He's up there. Nobody can punch him. That's a Zeus. Oh, damn. Oh, man. Now I'm sad I didn't bring our, uh... Ah, uh, yeah. Now I'm sad I didn't bring the Marauder to screw around with. All right, we'll leave the Zeus to last. Maybe we could do something about this. How are we doing here? A little bit of damage. Vector thrust kit destroyed, so it can't jump as far, but uh, not a big deal in terms of its DPS output. You're gonna fire on the Hopper, and you're gonna miss with your PPC. Bad luck, Zeusy boy. Alrighty, you. Right here. Black Knight. You can't get into cover. You can fire just your large lasers from here. You could... Oh, you can't get into cover if you jump. Alright, I think jumping it is. And jump one. And cool two. These guys are a little bit too close. We don't want to get any stray shots, so we need to be a little bit careful. Uh, I think we can just straight up destroy the Phoenix Hawk. I don't like how it's firing from up high. It makes me nervous. Don't let him keep the high ground. Damn, too much damage spread. Got a little bit of a head hit in, though. Provocator. Still not able to get close enough to punch. And now... Oh, you won't even be able to get close enough to fire machine guns. I really don't like that. You know what? Go right here. Oh, no, but that's a Zeus. I don't want to fire on the Zeus. Oh, there's no way we can fire anything good. Ha. <laughs> I guess it is a little too slow. Alright, fine. Go like this. And fire. Alright. I don't like that either. Right there. I don't want to lose the left arm. The biggest concern. Do we just kill the Zeus? I don't want to kill the Zeus. But I feel like... If we fire everything, there's a very, very good chance that we will. Ah. We can't do both Precision Strike and Vigilance as well. And we can't preserve you. Damn. Waiting for orders. <laughs> Damn. What do we do? We can't go for the catapult. Even though you are fairly threatening. Fine, just go here. Ah, oh, but then the arm. The arm, man. We could not move a lot. Just go like this. Fire, fire our lasers on the catapult. Take a... I think that's the best option, actually. It's unfortunate, but it's probably the best option. This is not... This doesn't feel quite that safe for the arm. Oh, and we can't even fire on you if we do that. What about from here? We can do this. No, but we still can't fire on you, yeah. Alright, only option is only option. Go. Roger that. And mm, medium lasers fire. Hopefully one of them will get close enough to punch after that, because we're running out of heat here. The medium lasers are supposed to be for emergency attacks, not for this. Hey, Locust. You're adorable. You're gonna die. <laughs> Uh, I feel like one of these assault mechs and the, um, when it's just heavies and assaults... Damage is light. How do you convince the pilot going in the, uh, little locust to actually join the battle That's instead fine. of just scouting? Ah, uh, it's silly. The very concept is silly. You could go up to him and kill him outright, but he's not a threat. That's the thing. If you go here... What, if I, what about if you go here? I still can't fire those MGs. Maybe we just reserve you. Wait for them to move. Maybe one of... Ah, yes, you were coming up closer. Big mistake, little buddy. Big mistake. And yeah, those are the stray shots I was worried about. I really just want the Banshee to get a punch in. Who are you gonna fire on? Also on the Banshee, they seem to dislike you. And, oh damn, this armor is gonna be stripped very, very soon. My armor's getting stripped off. Is the Zeus gonna fire now? No, it's the Phoenix Hawk, okay. Oh, damn, immediate... Oh, what? Wait, what? It hit the left arm from the rear angle? Excuse me? It hit the left arm from here. With everything... Come on! <laughs> wow, okay. 
Okay, game. I see. I see how it is. And I don't like it. Okay, first of all, Grasshopper, you just can't quite get close enough, can you? Mm, you could probably kill the Centurion outright. I was gonna punch it with the uh, Banshee, though. Damn. You know what? Let's reserve. Let's see what the uh, let's see what their last mech does. Zeus, are you going to break this guy's arm off? You are, aren't you? Two damage. Head injury, injury ignored. We don't care. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And this guy's critical. The things I do just to get a punch in. There we go. Finally, you punch the senti. Punch him in the face. <laughs> this is all I've wanted. Go. Coordinates received. Engaging. Left torso, left arm, left leg. Not as much as I'd like. And, ah, uh, you didn't carry any ammo on this side. Immediate knockdown, though. Because of the leg hit. I guess we'll have somebody finish you off. I was hoping for an insta-kill. Okay, fine, you. Go right over here, and... Wait. Oh, you. Can you fire at multiple things at once? Like, let's say, from here? Like so. Right there. Moving to position. How much HP damage do we need to do? We can fire a few lasers at you and a few at you, I guess. Alright, let's do this. One, two. Lose two medium lasers? Yes. And then we'll go one, two, one, two. I think like that. I feel like neither will die if we do this. Although they might. Huh. You know what? This thing is at 39 HP, so we're actually best off firing both large lasers at this guy. Uh, and then both of these at this guy. There we go. Do that. 7 HP left on you. Not bad. You should be dead. Good. Damn, I think we're gonna have to kill the Zeus. Ah, uh, sorry Zeus. Grasshopper. Right there. Confirmed. We might still lose this arm. I don't know. Precision strike. In the face. Confirmed. Probably not gonna work out, but you never know. Too many ammo explosions. What's the HP? 7 HP in the head. Not a lot. It's not a lot. I should have ran you up. The catapult's gonna survive. Uh, we could go, let's say... Hmm... I definitely need the Phoenix Hawk dead, so it doesn't get another rear shot in on you. And then you, yeah, there's no way we could kill you. And this is, you know what, let's do this. One, two, like that. Roger. Damn, bad close. I have one HP, okay. <laughs> Please be dead. Okay, at least this guy's dead. Alright, we should have you, Locust, move. It's going to kick this arm and destroy it, isn't it? That's what I'm expecting. No, that's what I would have done. Your LRM is gone. Why would you fire in the Grasshopper? Alright, is the Grasshopper gonna move, or are you gonna move? Who's gonna move? Yes, it's our turn first. Beautiful. You, run right up here. And destroy this guy. We'll leave the Zeus. I'm not willing to take any more damage. Not willing to lose the arm mods in that arm. Go, nope, you're dead. There's no way you're surviving this. There we go. Target indeed eliminated. And Banshee. Can't move yet. Uh, fine. You? What can you do? 65% to hit you. And this guy's dead. And then this guy. Hmm. What about you? Go right here. Now, you know what? Go right up here. Don't punch him. Just fire whatever you can. Precision strike in the head. Don't fire the large lasers. We only need some small things to hit here. Honestly, we only need one thing to hit, but we also need to not destroy the CT. So if all of them hit the CT, it would be 85, 100, oh damn, it's too much. Do we risk firing four? That's the question. If we fire four and one hits the head, he'll die. And the CT won't explode. Let's try it like this. 
Come on. Just one. Yes. Nice job. At least we got a couple pieces of that thing. Screw around with it when it, uh, when we get another piece, and then you finish off this fella. Like that. 70% pretty decent. This guy's dead. So much damn effort just to try to get the Banshee to punch something. Alright, easy enough. That was glorious, Commander B80. You beat them bloody without a shred of hesitation or remorse. And I captured the entire show on Holovid. Nice crisp footage ready for air. And by all means, we should broadcast it. We move on Ironwood Productions and their hollow distribution facility, and we do it now. What about refits and repairs? Our lance just took fire down there. I'm paying you to deliver swift justice for Aryan's murder, Mr. Vertanen. Anything short of that is unacceptable. You will move on Ironwood's hollow distribution facility, and you will do it without delay. You're the boss, Gra Graf Stieglitz Bradford. If you say we push forward, then we push forward. Mission successful. Yes. Alright, let's see what we got here. Next. Uh, yeah, a little bit of damage on you, but at least we didn't lose any of the mods. Uh, I was really hoping to get a nicer punch out of you. We'll try next time. In the meantime... Oh, we do get three pieces of Zeus. Oh, but we don't have enough salvage for... Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, I forgot I didn't go for salvage. Whatever. Confirm. Zeus piece, Zeus piece. Damn. So close. And yet so far. Next. Come on. We're gonna need to do some mech repairs. Now we're not. Consecutive deployment. Banshee, I guess you're not coming along this time around. Maybe I should have done the second Banshee just so we could uh, screw around with the uh, double Banshee. Even though I really dislike the 3E compared to the 3M. I guess we're going in. Just like this, Provocator can be in the Grasshopper now. You can go in the Orion, and you know what? Oh, the, the Marauder's not ready yet. I should have probably put the Marauder up ahead of the Banshee. Because it's going to be hard to get any, uh, any shots in. Oh, well. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Deploy. Deploy. Hmm. Is there going to be reading? There is not. You heard the man. Let's get this job done. Okie doke. Any second now. The Steel Beast to capture base. I take it this is not the final battle. I take it there's going to be a Steel Beast 3. All right, let's see what we got here. The hollow distribution facility should be just ahead of you, Commander. Hey. Indeed, Ironwood Productions uses this facility to mass-produce Hollowvid entertainment for combat enthusiasts across the inner sphere. They have everything we'll need to ish to issue the Steel Beast a challenge he cannot refuse. I would advise your lands to scout the facility before engaging it. Ironwood Productions has security contracts with a number of local mercenary outfits and resistances likely to be heavy. Ooh, heavy resistance. Oh, damn it. And we're still at two out of two salvage, aren't we? Oh, I've made a terrible error here. Understand, understood, Graf Stieglitz Bradford. We'll take it from here. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm mad at myself for not going three. Oh, well. Oh, well, oh wait, is this area again? Really? Now they've made a mission here? Okay, fine. What do we got here? We got a 55-tonner and a turret. Not what I would call heavy resistance, probably. What are you, by the way? You're the Orion. I guess we could move through up here and then try to go down there. If it's possible, why not? You go here, and then I guess we can send the Grasshopper around as well. Archer, you can definitely go up here. There we go. Two and two. I like it. Eliminate the facility's turrets. Eliminate the security forces. Okay, should be easy enough. You. Uh, I think we'll sprint you forward right here. Yes, they'll all engage you, but you do have sprint and you do have cover. I think you'll be able to take it. Plus, you're the Orion, so you're the tankiest mech we have. Let's identify what we have here. We have a heavy shredder turret. You're going down first. 
Another heavy shredder turret. And what are you? And a sniper turret. Okay, looks like we'll be going after the shredder turrets first. They're by far the most threatening things on the field here, so Grasshopper, you're not going to be able to target any of them, are you? So you're not going to move yet. Buckshot, you with the Black Knight. Uh, you could pop a couple large lasers at one of these and then fire everything else on the snow. Damn, I don't like that very much. Hmm. What about you? If we move you up here... Decent chance. Can we kill a heavy shredder turret with a single volley? 80, 81, 60? No, we can't. So it will fire after we fire. That's a shame. That is indeed a shame. Can you fire your medium lasers? No. Alright, fine. Go back here. Fire at these turrets because they're furthest oh, I away, I think. Like so. I'm definitely going for the turrets before the mechs. Alright, and then we'll have a couple... Oh, damn. 88 plus 7. Damn, the two large lasers won't be destroying that one shot either. Looks like that turret's gonna stay alive, isn't it? Alright. Not so good for us. Uh, Buckshot, you yeah. moving up. Uh, damn, how do we do this? How do we do this? If only we had more... Hmm, what if you jump here? You can't fire your medium lasers. You could fire your medium lasers at this, and then maybe we can have the grasshopper finish it off? Let's find out. If the grasshopper moves right, there's no way to fire on it at all. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. What if we jump here instead, and then fire absolutely everything at this turret? We would be able to do 180 damage, still not enough to destroy it. And this is a pretty threatening turret as well. Got two PPCs. Alright, well, let's just do what we can here. Let's go one. If you say so. And large lasers on this, everything else on this. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we'll just need somebody to fire something at this turret. Damn, this is gonna hurt. Ooh, you actually used your sensor lock? Bad idea, man. Why did you do that? Okay, Grasshopper moving up. Fire everything on the Wolvie, because it's your only option. Then we'll fire at the turret next turn. No machine guns quite yet, but the Wolvie fortunately has barely any armor. Alright, that's one miss. Beautiful. That was the most threatening thing, AC-20. Do they have another turret that's mo that's okay? That's the PPC turret. One PPC missed, and a lot of those damn, uh, a lot of the AC2s missed as well. Love it. I don't know why I decided to fire on. Oh, there's another sniper turret over there, and I keep interrupting myself. This one did not miss nearly as much, and the Orion's kind of in a bad way. I might have to pop vigilance or something. Hmm. All right. Okay, yeah, you're gonna. What the hell? Why did you just why did he decide to panic and run? What the hell? That's a little strange. Oh wow, this does seem like fairly heavy resistance. Nice, nice. But it doesn't look like any very nice salvage on the other hand, so I'm kinda kind of on the fence about this whole thing. You can't split shot. You could fire absolutely everything on this other turret, though. I think I'd rather not split shot at this one, so go right here. Uh pop vigilance. Because you're being focused down quite a bit. And then everything at this heavy shredder, please. Alright, then we will have Snowbound target both of these turrets and hopefully kill them both at the same time. Nice miss, nice miss. That's- ooh, that hurts. What are- what the hell? Damn, it's a cataphract, isn't it? Alright, we gotta destroy this thing. It's got a lot of heavy weaponry. Uh, I feel like the Orion might get damaged in this particular run. But hey, gotta do what you gotta do. You! Can you fire your medium lasers at anybody? No, you'll never get close enough. Fine, then just go over here. And you got two indirect shots. Use them. Copy that. Multi, multi. Get rid of the threatening shredder turrets. One should be down. Little bit of overkill there. Six, Almost 60 points, or a little over That's 60 points. I couldn't even uh, see. Oh, did I not split? The oh my. Oh, wow. I'm an idiot. Oh, it's an HQ. Hello. Huh. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. I really wish I had killed you, but I guess we'll just have Buckshot do it. Uh, no, not you. Buckshot, you come here. Uh, how much HP does this have? I can't believe I did. 
<laughs> ah, why did I screw that up? Okay, we'll fire one large laser at you. And everything else at this one. Will that kill it? I don't know. I... Hmm. I feel like we should jump instead. Now, uh, we'll get one pip here anyway. Is there any way to get two pips? We get two, three pips by jumping here, but we can't fire. We get two pips by... Jumping here. What about running here? We'll get two pips anyway, but then we won't be able to fire on both. Fine. Jump here. Like so. Cool yourself down. Use it immediately. And multi-target. Let's not screw this up this time. One, two. There we go. Yeah, that's one down. There's still another sniper turret over here, but it's a lot less threatening. I think we'll go for the mechs next because they don't have a lot of armor. You're going to be just barely alive. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, rude. Some turrets upset. Uh, Provocator. Now, if you move right here, you could either finish the turret or badly damage the cataphract. Mm. You won't be able to precision strike. But the cataphract has some threatening stuff, and I think you're going to spread your damage way too much to be able to do anything to it. But I feel like we need to attack... S hmm. I right, go right here anyway. The thing is, whoever has split shot will be able to destroy this thing. You know what? Fine. Everything on the cataphract. Let's take this thing out. Alright, armor exposed in the CT. Whoever has precision shot will be able to finish that thing. Here comes the sniper turret. Fair amount of misses, though. That shot just grazed me. Yes, it did. Yes, it did, little fella. And Order. you. I think this time, you don't have split shot, though. Who gets to move? I think we're going to ignore the Cyclops. Let's kill the Fract. If you fire everything, you can definitely kill the Fract. 100 HP on the CT. You can pretty much guarantee the kill there. Hmm. I think let's do it. Let's do it. I copy. Guaranteed kill means no more attacks from you. Goodbye. There we go. The lasers did it. The SRMs not so much. Maybe I should have held off on firing the SRMs and just fired these, but, uh, you know, I think we needed the insurance in this particular battle. Oh, we might actually take some damage before we uh, fight the Steel Beast. Still surprised that we're not using any of our light mechs. And a griffin with a PPC and an LRM-10. Haven't seen one of you guys in a while, even though we were seeing so many of you early on. We are going to have to either brace or vigilize the Black Knight. We can't vigilize it. Okie doke. Fine. Well, we might have to risk being knocked down. Although, if we go into this, split shot and kill the turret, and then fire everything else on, say, the Wolvie. Yeah, here we go. Like, oh, you only... Oh, damn. If we don't brace, you're gonna fall. Damn it. Right, because he'll lose... He just lost one after moving. And by he, I mean the mech, not the uh, mech warrior. Ah, it might be best to brace. I really wish we had enough for vigilance. Oh, well, brace. Don't risk it. If they all target you, that'll be better anyway. You'll be braced and you'll have evasion. Plus, your CT is kind of damaged. I will have uh, Snowbound deal with the turret. Snowbound, you got it. You, start moving up. Uh, not too close, but close enough. Let's go for... Yeah, we'll leave this Cyclops to last, as I was saying earlier. Maybe we can destroy its head, I don't know. Uh, one, and let's target the... Wolvie, I guess? Yeah, why not? It's less threatening than the Griffin with this current loadout, but it is already slightly damaged. So there's that. Alright, this time A and B. Ah, one. And second volley. I got a little bit scared that there was no second volley coming this time. Here comes another sniper, and you're gonna go for the Orion, and you're gonna miss absolutely everything but one, uh, one AC2. On Armor is being stripped, but minimum damage indeed, or minimal. Yes, uh, you. Hmm. I feel like we shouldn't move that close. You could fire everything on the Wolvie again, or you could run up and destroy it. You'll take some damage for it, but I think it might actually be worth it this time. I'm decently sure we could destroy this thing. Do it. Moving out. 
Uh, eyes on the facility, and we have eyes on you. I'd advise doing against anything foolish, Commander. The studio is better defended than most frontier military bases, and I'd like nothing better than to justify our defense budget. Sounds like we're in for a fight, Sabat. There's no time like the present, so let's get to it. Ah, huh, looks like armor production shelled out for point defense threat. I was not expecting that. Can't say I didn't warn you. You need to secure the area, Commander. I'm still seeing hostile contacts on screen. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Thanks. We've been fighting this entire time, and you're now realizing it. This has been Darius in a nutshell. <laughs> okay, fire. Now let's see how you handle this. This guy should have some ammo to explode if we get through the armor. No dice, unfortunately. Unfortunately, but a split shot should finish him. Enemy turn, they're probably gonna go for the hopper. Oh, we're gonna get a rear shot? No, you're gonna shoot him on the side. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, not a big deal. You'll die now. Who's up next? Oh, are you gonna... No. Seriously, what the hell are you doing, AI? I shoot the grasshopper in the back. Head hit, but injury ignored, that's fine. Standing Dragon. Orion. We should be careful. Another headshot will kill you. <laughs> I mean, we're bound to get a death sooner or later. I guess you could fire everything on the griffin. Try to go for another CT kill. I feel like you won't be able to. You're gonna run too hot. No, you can fire everything. Let's try it. Yeah, we hit the arm. Okay, that's not good. Fair amount of damage to the CT, but not enough. You're gonna find the hopper on the other arm. No. Yeah, on the other arm. Okay, we're fine. Okay, now, Provocator, you get What's to move again. Arm? Hmm. Who do you finish? This guy or this guy? In fact, move right... Oh, damn, we can't move back into cover? I was hoping to avoid a shot from that turret. Damn. We could move right up here and just kill you. We could go up here and fire on the turret, but I think we need to get rid of the mechs, damn it. I guess we could just not move you and move somebody else first, like, say, Buckshot. Move you right over here. Wait, is there any way to target? Yes. If we go right from here. You know what? Don't jump. Just do this. I know you won't get... Oh, you won't get any evasion that way. Fine. Fine. Jump right there. All right. And we'll split the shot. Hopefully we can kill both of these guys at the same time. Uh, B, B, B. Engaging. Yes. Good job. And please do the same to you... Yes, very nice. Very nice, Buckshot. That's exactly what we were looking for there. Uh, you're gonna suffer some damage from that sniper turret. Everything hit. Damn. Not bad. And we got a stray shot on the Orion. <laughs> if that stray shot had hit him in the head, that would have been the cherry. Okay, What's you. Up, huh? Uh... Hmm. Do we just go for the clops? I mean, it's not very threatening, mech. That's the thing. I would like to take it to be an off-tank. Especially since it's not a Z, so we can, in fact, uh, tank with it, I think. Hmm. You know, it's... Wait, it has an adva Wait, advanced command module. Eh? Wait, wait, wait. I'm thinking of battle computer, aren't I? Okay, whatever. We'll find out in a sec. Uh, you... Do we ignore you? Do we move you forward? Can you identify that turret anyway? Doesn't look like it. Wait, what if we get hey there. Provocator, sprint towards the turret. Wait, if you run towards the turret, you will be able to fire. You'll be in danger, and your left arm will be damaged. Hmm. We might lose our left arm. Might be worth it, though. Everything on the turret, please. Snowbound, you're firing next. Uh, right in cover. Wait, can you split shot? Oh, wait, we don't want to split shot. Never mind. Go right there, though. Affirmative. All LRMs, please. There we go. Next up, eliminate the corporate security forces. Just you left now. Let's do it. Yes, let's. Okay. I'm here. Dragon. The one that's been beat up the most. Uh, I was thinking, do we fire the... Hmm, AC-5 will kill you if it hits you, but none of the lasers will. Black Knight might have a better shot. No, it's about the same, isn't it? Well, it does have two shots with the AC-5, but it is running too hot. Or rather, the, uh, the large lasers, but it is running too hot. Then again, so is the Orion. What can you fire? 
It could fire like this. There's a small chance that we'll hit it. Let's try it. Come on, AC5. Do it. No dice. Just one. Okay, we'll need another one to do that. Oh, well. Oh, it does have battle computer. Okay, yeah. And then you. Yeah, not enough for the uh, for the thing. Okay, fine. We'll just kill it. Ah, but I would like this thing. You know what? Try to run away. Go into cover. See if you can't survive. No shooting. Just running. Everybody reserve. What are you gonna do? You gonna fire on the hopper? Yep. No armor breach. Okay, we're good. We're good. One more chance to do what we're doing. Everybody else brace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're working on it. We're working on it. Okay, dragon. The area isn't clear. Eliminate hostiles and secure it before proceeding to your next objective. Yes, thank you. Uh, precision strike one more time. Right there. Fire the other medium laser. At least one of them should do it. Please, please don't screw this up. 18%. Actually, there is no guarantee that this works. Yes. AC5. Good job. There we go. Got ourselves a Cyclops HQ. Actually, we got two pieces of a Cyclops HQ, I should say. Damn it, why didn't I go for three? Always go for three in Flashpoints and uh, campaigns. Always. In fact, probably go max salvage in all Flashpoints from now on, because you get more guaranteed uh, units. Enemies are coming from somewhere. Where are they coming from? Security reinforcements, it doesn't show us. Capture this. Who's the healthiest? Commander. We're all kind of hurt. The Archer's the healthiest, but it also has the least armor. And it probably shouldn't be in the uh, in close combat. I guess we can move the Black Knight in. Move in. Oh, wait, there's the enemy contacts. That might have been a bad idea. Dragon, you stay back. I don't want to risk another head hit on you. And just fire your AC5 from a distance. And Hopper. I guess you can start slowly moving around. We don't know how many enemies are coming. We can only see the one. And it's a crab. That's not threatening. Uh, you. Ready for orders. Orion. Move up a little tiny bit. Take one shot at the crab, I guess. Firing. There you go. A little bit of leg damage. Why not? Let me guess. LRM fire? No. Double turret fire. What the hell? Or double A auto cannon fire, rather. And we got more auto cannons. Okay. <laughs> of course they have long distance stuff. Oh, what do we have here? You can now move. You're gonna jump and fire everything on the crab. In fact, I think you can capture and jump at the same time. Uh, hopefully that's gonna be okay. We'll see how this all turns out. Jump. We should be able to get obscured shots from here. We got a 55. Okay, the rest of the mechs don't look very threatening. Don't fire the medium lasers. Waste. Alright, that leg is kind of dropping. Not quite, but getting there. Hopper, I guess we can start running you forward. Without firing, though. Although we could fire. You know, take a chance, I guess. Uh, Yeah. Do it. If we destroy the crab fast, they won't be able to do much. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to precision strike the leg, but let's just destroy the side of the crab. I mean, enough hit the leg anyway, that probably would have been would not have been worth it. Inflicted some heavy damage. No bound, you're up next. You should be able to knock this guy down. And you can't get any closer, can you? No, alright, fine. Go right here. Move into position. Do it. Unless everything clusters in the arm and torso, it, it seems like that's what's happening here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Critical hit, Commander. That's the bad thing about the archer sometimes. Alright, we're gonna get a shot in, but the uh Oh, are you running away now? Coward. Oh, actually, oh, damn it, of course it hit that arm. The arm that's on the other side, too. <sighs> okay. Standing by. Okay, you. Hmm, I guess you could just fire the AC-5 again. I don't want you coming out of the woods right now. You're the only one that can move anyway. Do it. Alright, well, we got his torso, but it was the leg I was looking for. You're gonna fire on the BK, that's okay. We have this protecting us right now. Okay, you can cut it out now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. 
I think we're fine. Shouldn't be much trouble left. Oh, is that a laserback? What kind of hunchy is that? Immediate concern. Uh, you. We could jump you right here. You'll be able to fire. Only two evasion pips. Mm. Or we could jump up here. Hide among all this stuff. Or we could get way more evasion pips. Actually, here isn't bad. Slightly obscured shot, but not bad, I'd say. Try this. Go right there. I don't care about hey. the obscured shot, and you are a laser back. Okay. We could vigilance you, since they're all probably going to focus you. No vigilance. And then, fire everything you got on the crab. Let's destroy this thing, or at least break its leg. Yep, we can cool ourselves down next turn. We got some of those obscured shots, but oh, we got the CT. Wait, did we not destroy the leg at all? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Weird luck. Okay, fine. Uh, you. We get you. We could get you running up with your, despite your arm issue. I mean, if he comes out and he wants to attack you, you could probably punch him to death. Despite the fact that he doesn't have any ammo and archer. You can just fire on this guy. Ooh, we don't want direct shot, we want indirect fire right now. Yeah, there- oh, I really wish you could choose, like... What the hell, game? Ah, uh, why would we want direct fire? There we go. Coordinates received. It's- I just find it bizarre that the game prefers direct fire through a building over indirect fire. Uh, let's see. Hmm. You're actually in a good place. I mean, we could Vigilance you again and shoot everything at the Hunchy. Alternatively, we could jump here, identify both of these guys, and still shoot everything at the Hunchy. Probably a decent option. Despite the fact that we lose the high ground, we will take some retributory... retributory damage? Might be worthwhile. Go. And then Vigilize. And fire everything but two, but three, but four. Oh, damn. I should not have. Oh, you know what? Just cool down. And then fire everything. I forgot. I even said that like 30 seconds ago. Uh, let's do that and fire everything once again. All right, a decent number of CT hits. You shouldn't be alive too much longer. Wolvie is going to go for Blackjack. Yeah, good. Or Black Knight, rather. Not Blackjack. Thankfully. Don't want none of that. Dragon. I'm here. I guess you just sit here and just keep firing with your AC5. I would like to get a little bit closer. Uh, but this is the only area you could fire from. You know what, just stay here and fire. Uh, 95's not bad. Confirmed. Firing. Hey, it actually hit him. Good job. You're gonna punch him. Okay. Sure. One a small laser, right? Yeah. Huh, oh, we do lose evasion for that. That's okay. Provocator. This time. It's your turn. Go. No punch, unfortunately, but plenty of damage output. Have fun, buddy. There we go. Solid connection on that one. And you. Commander? Time to keep moving forward. Can you shoot your medium lasers from here? Yes, indeed you can. Uh, this is the only area you can, yeah. There's not... We don't have great shots with our medium lasers, unfortunately, so just keep moving closer. Ignore the other mechs. The Let's just systematically destroy them one by one now. Fire everything. Please cluster in the CT. Yes, okay. Actually destroyed the leg as well this time. There we go. That's a major threat off the field. Yeah, the blackjack we could just ignore. Next up. You. I guess you could go up here and start firing on the blackjack. Uh, or do we just run forward now? Just to get an extra shot in. Honestly, just sprint forward. You can actually fire next turn. Now, you're going to move, Wolvie. You're gonna punch somebody? You're gonna punch the black knight again. Wow, okay. You guys really like punching and kicking, I guess. I'm okay for now. I'm okay for now? Okay, good. Isn't that nice? You 
Show him how a knight punches and kicks. Well, let's see what you do. Punch. And you ma oh, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, man. And I, I get to use that so rarely and disappointment all around. Actually, very disappointing episode in terms of just getting punches and kicks out. Was trying to do that with the Banshee, now trying to do it with the BK, and just, no. Alright. Kill the Wolvie, please. Uh, maybe don't shut yourself down. There you go. Copy that. Down goes the leg, and somebody shoot it in the brain next. Or in the CT. Find out. Next, you. Provocator. Ooh. Now, do we go right here? Nah, we can just finish you, can we? Yeah, we can just finish you. Go right there. Keep your arms safe. And we'll have the uh, blackjack left. Right in the CT. Goodbye. All weapons are go. There we go. Enemy down. Enemy turn. Uh, don't shoot on. Okay, good. I got worried that he was going to shoot for this arm. We're okay. We're going to be okay. We could handle probably maybe one or two more lance of lances of reinforcements before we take too much damage and we would have to withdraw, I think. Especially if I bother using cover properly. And uh, don't... As well as range. We do have the sensor lock available as well. It's just it's not necessary anymore. And you go up right here. Position confirmed. And I know you're scared. I know you've been injured. Or you've almost gotten injured. But for everything you got, I'm actually tempted to precision strike again. CT, just bring this thing down ASAP. Or, you know, just miss with your big gun. Buckshot. Can you run up to this guy now? I was hoping to actually be able to get that... Uh, that punch off just to try to redeem you but apparently not uh don't fire let's say the two large lasers there you go and then the ct should core it there you go fair the well and we got some ammo explosions on top of it i'm in band for landing commander i take it that's it yes there we go you win, Commander Beatty. Ironwood Productions is officially crying uncle. The hollow distribution facility is yours for as long as you need it. If you want to call out the Steel Beast, we can help you do that. In fact, we'd be happy to. I'll bet you will. Someone in your flight or fight promotions department is probably doing a happy little dance right now. We know a money-making opportunity when we hear it. When you're ready, come on in. We've got a dozen hollow cameras ready to roll. Excellent. This victory brings us a step closer to justice for my murdered nephew. I suggest that you prepare yourselves. You'll be receiving the Steel Beast's challenge soon enough. Mission successful. Alright, I take it the next one is not a consecutive deployment. It's not going to do three, is it? There's no way it does three. Alright, let's take our two pieces off that HQ. And then not get the third piece, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> ah... All right, let's see. Just gonna see if there's anything crazy, like... SLDF gear doesn't look like it. Nah, we're good. Just go for that. No dice on the other HQ piece. I guess we could always... Wait, wait, we already had one? Oh. Well, isn't that lovely? Well, isn't that lovely? Looks like we got ourselves a nice new uh, Cyclops with a battle computer. Yes. I'm never completely confident until it goes back to the menu. And doesn't crash. There we go. Cyclops 10 HQ is the ultimate command mech, though its weaponry is fairly light for its class. Sounds like the Z to me. It provides unmatched benefits to friendly units in the form of improved communications coordination and battlefield awareness. The Steel Beast 2. I orbit Hero Titus. We're getting an incoming message, Commander. It's Tubbs. It looks like he's already here. That's a surprise since he's supposed to be on Solaris 7. That was the word on the street. Yeah, but hey, here he is. He must have come out to do some work with Ironwood Productions, or hell, I don't know, maybe he's just here to sample Hero Titus' pleasure industry. The place does have a reputation. Alright, folks, we're settling in here. <laughs> well, whatever the reason, he's here, and I'll bet that he's mighty pissed off. Buckle in, Commander. I'm putting him up on the view screen now. Hey, 
Commander, shit for brains. I saw your little hollow broadcast. You think that you can handle the crushing power of the Steel Beast? Well, I'm here to call you out and challenge your best to a duel to the death. You gotta be kidding me, Tubbs. Is this really how you talk? You're goddamn right it is. Explosions now. The Steel Beast is as real as it gets. He practices 100% sincerity, and he's gonna cut through your bullshit with a snap of his claws. You're about to face the unbridled, armored fury of Solaris 7's most notorious welterweight champion. Welterweight, huh? Interesting. With all the yelling and screaming, I expected you to pilot something bigger. Stay out of it, lady. This is between me and your company's champion. My crab against your best medium mech. Now, are you gonna accept my challenge, or are you a bunch of sniveling cowards with jelly where your spines should be? You got your fight, and when the dust settles, there won't be enough left of you to fill a five-gallon jug. A decently sized jug. Seems a little, uh... Seems a little generous, okay. You think you can frighten the steel beast? You don't scare me, it is I who scares you. I'll see you on the goddamn field. Uh, that guy's starting to grow on me. You versus our best one-on-one -on -one will be there. With a dramatic snarl, the steel beast disappears from your view screen. I enjoyed that. So boss, we're gonna drop the whole lance right down on that asshole's head, right? Please tell me that's what we're about to do. Oh, damn. Huh. We made a deal, a fair fight. Huh. Would I- why would we want a fair fight? I mean, sure, we could, but what if he does cheat? Hmm. And they say that his gang was a bunch of pirates and stuff. I feel like... I mean, obviously, the map is going to be winnable either way. I'm just trying to think. I assume that it said the reward was the rare mech. But would it give us the rare mech if we actually do this? Hmm. My instinct is to just drop the entire lance. We made a deal a fair fight one-on-one. -on -one. I assume that if we do this, they will actually drop more mechs, actually. Yeah, that's actually what they'll do. That's what we'll do. Then we're doing this. I'd rather have more mech salvage than less. And if the rare mech is a crab, honestly, we're probably never going to use it. And what if he sticks to his end of the deal? He's really stupid enough to drop alone. He deserves to get dogpiled. Fair enough. Let's go take out a gladiator. Uh, that's kind of funny. Do we get to jump immediately? Okay, beautiful. We don't have to. All right, so I am going to call this episode here because we are definitely out of time. And uh, next time we'll see what the guy actually does. Would have been unfortunate if he uh, if he was being honorable, honorable about it. But nobody said that the Periphery Crusade was about honor. Anyway. Next time, I can't wait to get to, to this and see what it rewards us. So, with that said, as always, I do appreciate any and all feedback with regards to the gameplay or the way I do things on this channel. If you have a second, please do take it to leave a like and or... Ooh! First 10 out of 10. Nice. Or 10, 10, 10, 10. Nice. Very nice. And I interrupted myself. And you can go with guts because you're always in the center of things. I'll do the rest of this. Blah, 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 blah. As always... All glory to the algorithm, and thanks for watching.